Welcome back to just another game review. Today we actually have Randy's choice of Resident Evil 2 the remake, which shocked me because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so even if he wouldn't have picked it, I would have. <laughs> it's a win-win. So, yeah, it's a win-win. So sit back and enjoy. So, Randy, what would you call Resident Evil 2 Remake from somebody who's fairly new to the genre? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I tell Wait, you what, really? No, it was a great... Like, I loved... <sighs> was this your first Resident Evil? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, ever. I mean, I might have played part of one when I was little, but mm. didn't get far yeah. enough for it to count. I had a good time with it. I was going through and I was... I felt like I was doing all right. I was killing zombies, and I figured out how to do the little liquors and yeah. not take too much damage. Did you, did you struggle with some of the puzzles? Google. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Least, yeah, yeah. I didn't use a walkthrough, but every time there was a combination, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm good at it now. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm going to get that right now. Yeah, oh, here. <laughs> The bullshit, there's zombies everywhere. <laughs> and I'm glad I did, because I was going to get chased around by f***ing Mr. X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely comes You're in. You're welcome, Aaron. <laughs> I'm like, I finally get stuck, and instead of going to the walkthrough, I go to our group chat, I'm like, hey, how do I, does this water do this? And you're like, yeah, do this, do this, and let me know when you get here. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> I knew where he was going. I knew where he was headed. So I go, and I do the... Switch the thing, the water comes down. I'm like, ah, oh, sweet, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I can go through the fiery door now. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I can get through there. And I'll go through and this dude f just grabs a helicopter. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and I just got, I got like a million bullets from my grenade launcher, so I'll just light him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought he was dead. <laughs> I'm assuming it was around this time when I got the text message that says, can I not kill this f <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be, this is going to be so much editing. So much <laughs> <laughs> so I run I run the wrong way I yeah. ran the way I came he's like you gotta kite him around the table go the other way <laughs> just kite him around the table <laughs> okay let me interject right here because I, this was evidently a, a them conversation without me <laughs> but for the last two weeks because we played this game two weeks ago it don't matter what game we're playing I've heard kite him around the table kite him around some kind of inside joke that I have no idea what, what they were talking about until just now still not funny but it's <laughs> playing Dark Souls and you guys are like hiding around the table <laughs> and I was like what the heck is going on <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> anyway so you're so, under I still don't know he's chasing me the whole time I'm just thinking oh he's there so I run back up the ladder through the thing I'm like safe <laughs> <laughs> got a breather and I'm waiting on him to text me back <laughs> I hear footsteps so I think it's like the zombies pounding the window and get louder and louder <laughs> This climbed the ladder. <laughs> and I was like, oh, f <laughs> So he punches me in the face. <laughs> yeah, straight haymaker style. Choke slams me. <laughs> and I was like, get up. And I'm like dying. My shit's red. Like, yeah. going crazy. Danger. I climb down the ladder and I run back. And I know where I'm at because it's back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going back to the beginning where, what's the dude's name? Black Marvin. Guy. Marvin's there. Marvin's there. He's the only NPC. It's got to be a safe spot. Marvin's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't helped me with nothing. <laughs> no, he's dead. He's a zombie. I had to kill him. <laughs> I saved it. Went to my box. As soon as I closed my box, there he is. <laughs> he punches me again. <laughs> and that's the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't like that aspect of it. You're not a fan of that. No, huh? no. It, it does get very stressful like because yeah. of that. It, it stops. You cannot no longer take your time at all. No, yeah. it's okay at first because it adds that sort of panic to the game. Because you know that happened in the original, but he didn't chase you around the whole map, just a piece. And when they made it to where he had access to everything, I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. And then I'm like, 20, 30 minutes later, I'm like, all right. Right. Just, let me, just hang on. Like, <laughs> give me a second. Jack up his bookshelf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I remember that. I'm trying to jack up the bookshelf. I got to stop. Kind <laughs> around the table. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. 
did. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> you got to kind of around the table. I'm deleting and, this channel. Um, <laughs> so as great as that story was, it absolutely tells me nothing about what Resident Evil is. So, uh, what is Resident Evil? In a nutshell, Resident Evil is classified as survival horror. Yeah. Limited resources, limited health items. Scary as shit. Mr. The whole X. time through, Mr. X chasing you down. With the remake, they did. A, I feel like they did a very good job of sticking to the original, but revamping it for 2019. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a remake to me. It feels like a reimagining, almost. Yeah. Like, the structure's there, the, the setting is there, the story's there, but the entire game has just been overhauled for 2019. Yeah, the mechanics are definitely way more polished. Yeah, like uh, the, sh the shooting mechanics, the item management... Everything, the sound. One of the main reasons I didn't play this till recently was because I thought everyone talked about how much, or how well they did it, or how uh, much it like it was like the old one. So mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna be running around like, yeah, with the clunky aim and all. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna waste my time. But right, it's actually really good. I do want to say that like remasters and remakes have been like a, a big genre or whatever you want to yeah call it. it's, it's money maker yeah it's been like yeah it's been like a people are cashing in on them yeah and i'm fine with that because a lot of the remakes and remasters that they do are are games that i just i would play again even if they weren't remastered right or whatever this is the best one absolutely it's it's, it's i don't think it's the best game but ever made by any means no i mean it's a good it's a good game i think it is the best remake like to to go from where they went to where they are now yeah you feel like you're playing a brand new game, but it still feels exactly like the old game. 100%. It, it, it's perfect yeah, to me. It's the like, actual remake part is perfect. You know how like when you're playing one of those remakes and you're playing through it and it's like the nostalgia wears off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like halfway through and you're just over it. <laughs> yeah. I, at least I do. <laughs> like I've already played this. I'm not slugging through this again. Look, looks great, guys. You did a good job coloring yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks fantastic. <laughs> With this Resident Evil 2 remake though, they put As, a lot of time in. Yeah, it was completely different from the original. I think that's what made it so good because it, it's that game. I know it's that game, but it feels and acts and sounds nothing yeah. like that game. One thing that I really like that they added to this um, from the original is they kept characters like Ada Wong and Sherry Birkin, who were sub characters in the first game, in the original. In this game, you actually control them. Like, you play if segments where you play as them. Mm. You take Sherry through the orphanage, or you take Ada through the sewers. And I thought that was really cool how they kind of fleshed out that backstory. Because in the original, it was like, Here's this person. who is this person? Yeah. yeah, like, who is this red herring that just showed up and yeah. ex mocketed me out of the situation <laughs> I was in? And even if you're brand new, like you were, like, like you yeah, said, you were brand you new. It. I mean, what did you think of the story arc as far it's as storytelling good. goes? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, like as far like the setting, atmosphere, all that, all that stuff. Yeah, like I didn't feel like I was playing an old game. And that's what I thought I would be doing the whole time. Right, right. Randy hates retro. I think they did a really, really good job of walking the line between nostalgia and something new. Yeah, like a freshness to the game. Right. Because it wasn't like like some games like it's just a just pure in your face nostalgia and that's great for a little bit and it wears, yeah, off. It wears off but this was just enough nostalgia to make me smile make me be like oh yeah yeah, yeah. and but enough newness to where it was a different game right I, I had never played this before even though i had played this before so i've heard a lot of good stuff and since this is your favorite game what's one thing you didn't like about it one thing i didn't like a lot of people didn't like it um the main the main characters leon and claire I wish they would have made them more relatable, kind of. They, yeah. They're kind of they're heroes. That's their character. <laughs> We're the heroes of this story. Yeah. And they they went so far to flesh out Ada Wong and you know Kendo, the gun shop owner, and Marvin and all these people True. who just got a cameo in the original. And they I didn't really feel like they took the time to flesh out Leon and Claire. I get that. I yeah. mean, I wish they would have. I wish they would have fleshed them out a little better. Gave them a little bit more meat. Yeah. Because, I mean, those are the characters you're with the whole time. Yeah. So I feel like they should have done a better job. They did a great job. Yeah. Models. Not saying that. But I just wish they would have done a better job at, like, pulling me into what those characters have been going through. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know something I didn't like about it? Um, they, they, they redid the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, they did. And, and it, was pretty, it, was, it was really good. But they offered you the ability to have the original soundtrack also. Yeah. And that's amazing. 
On paper. <laughs> yeah, not on your wallet. <laughs> Why why make something and then lock it behind a paywall? I I, I hate that so much. It's the world we live in. Because man. they can. I, I didn't buy the special yeah. edition, and I usually do buy special editions, but I just bought the normal game, and I was like, oh, the original soundtrack, I'm playing through with that, and it was like five bucks, and I was like, I'm not paying five bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I put the game on mute, and I played it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> just played the original in the background? Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that you didn't get that soundtrack. Uh, because I already had the special edition, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know. And when I seen people on like threads and stuff complaining about that, I was like, what are you talking about? What soundtrack? Because I didn't even use it. <laughs> I used all the new shit. I didn't even realize I had that. And then I was like, oh my God, this will be awesome. And then it had that ear piercing, link, link. Every time you move your inventory box, I was like, no, f- yeah. <laughs> take, take me back. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> I don't want to go back to that. I was wearing my headphones and stuff. You have to play this game with headphones. Side note. Have to play it with headphones. Yeah, because you'll hear creaks and cracks and shit above you that's not there and just banging out the distance. You have to play with headphones. Maybe you do, but I'm not a fan of being scared at all. Oh, I, love it, dude. <laughs> I play with the lights on and like I try to invite people over and they don't even <laughs> like and they're like, Oh, we hanging out? No, you can do whatever you want. Just talk to me every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, just make sure I'm still here. And this ain't just Resident Evil. This is all inventory-based games, I guess. Because uh, I hate that, like, you have a limited inventory space. Mm-hmm. Because, like, okay, I got two shivs, but I can't pick up this third one, even right. though it's <laughs> essential to my survival. <laughs> Carrying I my can teeth. see I got a backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> why can't I have another shiv? Right. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, like, why don't you go... Pick up that and that and that over there and then that over there. I will drop everything. You've got limited. You've got limited inventory space. Got cargo shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these pockets. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would make room. So, with your first experience with this genre, Randy, what would you give Resident Evil Two the remake? The remake? I don't know. Probably. It was a really good game, and I mean, I see why they did the whole Mr. X chasing you thing. Like it did add that. I've never played a game like that before. So right. it was a good game. I'd give it a f- eight point six. I thought you were gonna say five. No. Yeah, I, I heard. I, I heard the f- and I was like, that was, "That's low." I was like, wow, I'm I'm quite quit. Uh, I. <laughs> what about you, Zach? I really okay. enjoyed it. Also, um, I thought it was a I, like I said. I think it's the best remake ever done. Um, I don't think it's a perfect game though. Main, it's not my genre per se. I still think it's a great game though. Um, I'll give it a nine flat. Nine flat. All right. I think, um, I think for me, this is definitely the best Resident Evil game I've played. I'll agree with that. It's better than all the rest. Ten. Nah. There's some things that could have been improved, but as far as the hype and the emotion it made me feel playing it so long ago and playing it now, I'm going to go with a nine five. Hell yeah. Nine five. Well, that just about does it with our Resident Evil 2 remake review. Uh, as always, this is Randy, Zach, and Aaron with just another game review. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And if you liked our video, let us know in the comments. And remember, kite them around the table. <laughs> Jesus.